Files, files, files. There are three ways, there are three states to describe a file. Good, bad, ugly or unknown. Two different systems. Default allow and default deny. What do they mean? Default allow system works on blacklisting. And these things could use heuristic, behavior blockers, signature based. And this is how legacy antivirus products work. What does it do? Default allow system lets in any file as long as they are not in the blacklist. What that means is an unknown file will be executed. Only if your name is blacklisted, you will be stopped from executing. Otherwise, please do come in. And you know what? You can never ever catch 100% of all bad files. The problem is the unknown files. What could happen to that file? Well, it could be a good file or it could be a bad file. If it's a good file, the risk that you took by running a legacy antivirus product paid off. What if that file then turns out to be a bad file? You've just allowed yourself to be infected. And that is the main problem. Nowadays, unknown files are too dangerous for you to allow in your computer. Let me give you an example. You're sitting at home, someone knocks on your door. You blindfold yourself, you go to the door and you open it to a total stranger. Then you invite them in. Would you do that in real life? No, but you're doing that in your virtual life. You're letting an unknown application come and take over your computer. Unknown files, why are they bad? Well. There are millions of new viruses every year. You know, 50,000 new viruses created daily. And these viruses, malware, Trojans, rootkins, are all starting their lives as an unknown file. These virus authors, when they create their creations, the first thing they do is to check to make sure that they're not being detected by legacy antivirus products. Only then do they release it into wild and to unsuspecting victims. Now that we know the problem with a default allow system is that the unknown application will be allowed in, let's talk about the default deny system. What is default deny system and how does Komodo's default deny system with automatic sandboxing work? Now, in a default deny system, instead of allowing everything that is not in blacklist you only allow what is in whitelist it's totally the other way around you only allow what is in the whitelist if an application is bad we know it's bad we stop it if it's good we know it's good we let it in and if it's an unknown what we do is we automatically sandbox like a little jail, little cell. We put them into a little cell just for a short period of time until we know who they are and if they're gonna behave themselves or not. So this unknown file will let you execute, but execute in a sandbox so that it cannot cause any damage to your Komodo protected PC. And then we send that to our antivirus labs. We've got all the experts and techies who can analyze these things and then let us know whether they're good or bad. If they're good, we take them out of this cell and say, please come on in. If they're bad, we immediately get rid of them. Your system is always safe and secure. You are not risking your computer by allowing unknown files to execute through your system. And that is what we have achieved creating a default deny architecture.